Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use attributes and attribute templates in Kanka. Every entity, meaning characters, families, locations, and so forth, can have attributes, which are represented with the attributes tab. These can store various bits of information, uh, which don't quite fit under pre-generated fields or the description entry field. Every entity can have as many attributes as they want. Um, and for example, for this character, which is a player character, I've stored the information level, HP, AC, and various other information, which is useful to me as the dungeon master. Attribute templates come in play when I have several characters which I want to apply. I want to keep track of these values of, but don't always remember which values I'm tracking. So for example, I have created an attribute template called character which contains the various attributes I want to remember to track when I'm creating a player character. I can manage and add a new attribute character if I wish. Call it one, two, three. Let's call it glimpse and have it a value of one, two, three and make it private. Private means only myself and users who are in the admin, admin role of a campaign can see. So now my attribute template has a new value. If I go back onto my character, this new value has not been automatically added. Um, however, you can apply an attribute template and just select character and it will see that it will compare the attributes it already has saved and the new ones and add the new ones as defined in the attribute template. I can then, on the entity, Manage these attributes. I can move glimpse up, change the value to 5, make it public, save. Or I can remove it. Now, if I remove an attribute from an entity, it will not delete it from the attribute template. It is still here because there's no back linking, uh, so to speak. Um, I also use, for example, for my sessions, I keep track of part one, part two, because there's usually, usually a break somewhere in the middle, uh, if they leveled at the end, and monsters killed. Uh, in my journals, which are my session, uh, where I store my, do my session prep and store information what happened, uh, for here, for example, I have these values. Uh, you'll see leveled up is not here, but I can apply session attribute template and we'll add the value but they didn't so i don't need that value in this case uh, you can apply several templates to an entity so for example if i want i can add the character attribute template and let's go crazy and add the last one deity um, i now have lots of attributes on this entity there are no limit to how many attributes an entity can have nor on the limit uh, nor on attribute templates. And that's basically it. Um, some people use attribute templates to store information on deities, for example, domain symbols, favorite web home plane, just so they know when they are creating a new deity, these are the information I need to have available. Um, that's the core idea behind attribute templates is if you are always using the same attributes over and over for various entities um, and you want to remember which values are you tracking and you don't want to retype every value name, you can use attribute templates. I hope this helped and thank you for using Kanka.